Guys, today we are in McKinney, and as nice of a place as it is, if you bought your house here about five years ago, it was probably something like this. And if you spent the same amount on a house today, it probably looks a little more like that. And that's because shrinkflation is real, and with an average square foot of $222, it gets pretty pricey to live in McKinney, and people are looking for alternatives. So today, we're gonna go check out some of those and show you some really cool stuff along the way. Let's go. So our first stop today is Melissa, Texas. And this is on our list because of number one, the schools, great for families, location, all that. So we're gonna get into all that in this video. But right behind me, you're gonna notice Coach Kenny's stadium and he's kind of a big deal. Oh man, that's awful, right? Uh, this is a $34 million project that they put in here. So that gives you an idea of just how much money that they're putting into their kids here. I mean, like the campus, the buildings here look like something, they look like some kind of corporate office. Looks like something that you would see on a college campus maybe. So education is definitely a big deal here. That's why there's a lot of families moving this direction. And speaking of direction, this is gonna be just northeast of McKinney. So for that reason, this was really like a little town, like in parts of it, you can still see like these really rundown buildings and whatnot and all this brand new stuff going in. So you're gonna see kind of that small town that's like really blowing up right now. And so for all of that, those reasons, there's just a lot of reasons why you're gonna to wanna to consider Melissa. And we're gonna get into all that today. We're gonna to show you some different neighborhoods, different builders. We're gonna show you a little bit about the town um the pros the cons there's a landfill over here we're going to talk about all that stuff and we're going to show you this really really cool house that's uh steel framed it's super modern not something you would expect to see here but it's got a little bit of everything so let's get started right now we're in mill rainy ranch which is actually right next door to melissa high school and if that doesn't sound like anything to you i need to inform you of something that is prime real estate and right now the guys putting houses on the ground here are union maine now they're really big on the dallas side of things they've got uh, communities down in forney rockwall on the east side of the dallas side of the metroplex so uh, they're really well known over there but this is our first time actually seeing them and my first impression was that they're not reinventing the wheel which isn't a bad thing it means you're getting a known product from a reputable builder and these guys put out a really decent mid-range product and I say mid-range because to be able to get something affordable that close to a high school that big and that's gonna be in such a prolific ISD is unheard of uh, this is really the quintessential um, get in early situation because these guys only have about 80 lots left this is their third phase in this community and then they'll be closing out and they got to move elsewhere so it really does get snatched up quickly and you got to act fast I know you could probably see the apartments here behind me. Some people get a little trepidatious about being that close to apartments, but if that's the way you feel about that, the phase three is actually gonna to be towards the back of the community on the other side of all this. So you're not gonna be like butted right up against all of it. And as you can see, these are really nice apartments. You don't have anything to worry about here. As Jack mentioned, they do have a new pool that is in the works, but they've also got one here towards the back of the community already. So you do have that if you move in you know, next month, tomorrow, whatever, give us a call, that's what we're here for. Uh, but one thing I wanted to point out, because we kept thinking, hey, are we smelling gas? As we were walking through the neighborhood, because they do have gas appliances here, so that's nice. Uh, but no, turns out this is right next to the dump. I don't know if you can kind of see it over my shoulder here, uh, but there is a very large landfill. So if you're smelling some stuff, uh, it's probably where it's coming from, if it's not coming from whoever you're sitting next to. All right, guys, so we're trying to make this quick because you can see it's already starting to come down. But one thing I did want to mention, these guys are putting out houses between four and $600,000 range, very affordable mid-range housing. And one other thing I did want to point out right now, these guys are offering a 2.99% interest rate on move-ins. Uh, now that's probably going to be with the 2-1 buy-down, which means your long-term interest rate's probably going to float around the 5% mark. But if you've been keeping up with the Texas housing market, you know that that's still really good because right now most people are getting in at about 6.5% interest rate. If you're you're looking for an affordable house at a good monthly rate this is a place to check out currently in melissa texas trying to get footage and uh well it's um it's pouring we're getting the 15 percent. 15 percent said hey my we're here <laughs> it's, it's raining uh, we caught all of it we're probably gonna have to come back another day this also we again didn't plan to match shirts don't know why it keeps happening 
<laughs> Boy, this brings back childhood memories of me riding around with my grandpa. But our tractor was red, and uh, it also wasn't surrounded by all of these houses. So here we're at Legacy Ranch, and uh, this is a community here in Melissa, Texas. This is gonna be pretty common to what you're gonna find here. They've taken over basically uh, what probably used to be a farm field or a ranch, and they smacked a bunch of houses down on it. So they're gonna have all kinds of options from about 2,000 to a little over 3,000 square feet, big family homes here. Uh, MI is one of the builder, MI Homes is one of the builders here. They put out a very nice product as always, but they are closing out here. So if you're interested in this area, you might want to get a move on. This is going to be on the south side of uh, Melissa, Texas, close to um, McKinney and all that kind of stuff that you want to be close to. And obviously you can see some of the amenities behind me. We've got a playground, a splash pad, a lot of that going on. Bloomfield Homes is also here. As always, they put out a great product. We've talked about them a lot in all these different neighborhoods, but Bloomfield Home, once again, is gonna have a couple different uh, lot sizes here to choose from, different floor plans, that kind of thing. But if you're looking for a good option, this might be worth taking a peek at. One of your dreams has always been to spend your entire weekend out at the ball field because your kids are busy playing soccer, or baseball, or softball, or tennis. Well, you're in for a treat. They have all the facilities here at Zplex, and not only that, when it becomes a little too much, they even have a bar and grill, so you can get a little sippy sippy on, you know what I'm saying? So you can see there is a huge emphasis on family out here and also sports. The facility is, I mean, it's immaculate here. There's so much, I think there's more turf here than grass between this and the high school, but absolutely beautiful facility here in Melissa, Texas. In this brief moment of sunlight we got today, I'm gonna to talk to you guys about the dawn at Sky Ridge. Now, right behind me is a Netsy home build, and we haven't talked about these guys before because to be perfectly honest, we haven't heard of them before, but they are really making a scene. So these guys are putting down some really interesting products right now. Actually, right next to this right here, this is the model home. Over here, we've got a steel frame building with double insulation. That means they insulate on the inside and the outside of the outer covering inside of the framing there. So you're gonna get really good R values with these houses, but that's not the only thing that you're gonna get with these houses. You're also gonna get a ton of accent lighting, some very modern interiors and giant sliding glass back doors. Uh, these guys are throwing everything they can at their builds and it really shows because the quality looks great. It has a very interesting touch, some really cool floor plans and the finish outs are just amazing. Uh, so while these guys do already have a few different neighborhoods on the ground, some over in Frisco, some in Wiley, some other places as well, this is the first one we've run across and they kind of blew me away as soon as I walked in. If you've been watching our channel for a little bit, you probably have an eye for what most of these houses go for. So if you want to go ahead and take a quick guess of what you think this one costs, put it down in the comments below or just guess along with us as we play. But I'm gonna give you just a second to think about it because in a different community, this may cost something wildly different, but we're in Melissa, Texas, so don't forget that either but just to give you guys a little bit of satisfaction on your guesses this actually goes from eight hundred fifty to nine hundred fifty thousand dollars for their floor plan range so just shy of a million dollars which is really good because like I said if you go to Frisco that can easily get close to 1.5 1.6 million dollars so to keep it under that seven digit mark is really good all right he just made a quick pit stop at the Bucky's in uh, Melissa there and you know those gas stations, well actually first of all to call Bucky's a gas station is a little bit insulting or maybe yeah. flattering to gas stations uh, but you know those gas station sandwiches you get and it's like they put a little bit of cheese on the edge so it makes it look like it's really stacked and then you actually bite into it and it's all bread mm, yeah. yeah not the case here that is like a thick sandwich for yeah dinner. <laughs> I got a three meat sandwich this is probably as tall as it is wide but uh, Bucky's if you've never been worth the stop it's like um, a gas station Walmart had a baby. Yeah, kind uh, of. Maybe Target. It's nicer. Yeah, it, yeah, Target because they've got really good bathrooms here. Um, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's like a mix between a really good truck stop, a really good ga gas station, and then like a very large convenience store. Yeah, definitely a must have if you're coming down on a road trip to yeah. check out the area. So. Yeah, you can get anything you need, even holiday decorations. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, welcome to Anna, Texas. And if you haven't heard that name, you certainly will, because this place is blowing up. A lot of people are coming from McKinney and Melissa. Since this is only a short 20 minute drive just up the road, uh, you're going to be hearing about it quite a bit because it is growing 
fast. Now, uh, we're gonna show you guys all kinds of stuff. These guys have a really cool high school and middle school setup, all kinds of parks, a few really good neighborhoods have started popping up as well. Uh, and speaking of schools, you may have noticed that it was rated B on niche.com if you've done any kind of research, but that's probably not gonna stay that way because a lot of those ratings actually have to do with the funding that the school gets. And with all the people moving here, you know those tax dollars are really gonna make this place shine. But let's go check it out. So we're at West Crossing, and this is a neighborhood that's being built out right now. There's a little bit of room left. You can see all the homes going up behind me. And uh, what's cool about this neighborhood is it is directly across from one of the parks here that has a giant splash pad. My kid would definitely love hanging out there. Uh, they've got a playground, they've got some baseball, softball courts, and it's right next to the middle school. And then this is actually right between the middle school, the park, and the high school. So you're gonna see that behind me in just a minute, but uh, uh, you'd never have to drive your kids to school if you lived here, they could walk. But uh, in this neighborhood, you're gonna have two builders. You have William Ryan Homes, which is new to me. I was pleasantly surprised. It's nothing like grandiose or over the top, but everything was really well done. So that was pretty cool to see. And then also you've got Bloomfield Homes, which of course, if you've watched any of our videos, you've probably heard of or seen Bloomfield Homes before. They build a really nice product. And uh, what's really cool about moving up here to Anna is you're gonna pay less for the house. So this neighborhood right here, and these are pretty big houses, right? You're looking at anywhere from 2,000 to 3,500 square feet. And you're gonna find these starting in the high fours and going up to probably the low sixes. Most of what we saw were gonna be in the 500s for a pretty good size house. This is the villages of Hurricane Creek. We've got a lot of builders in this one. It's a quaint little community uh, right here in Anna, Texas. So you've got Lennar and DR Horton if you want a more economic build. But if you're looking for something with a little bit more pizzazz, we've got Beezer Homes, which you've probably heard in one of our old videos. Uh, they're down in like the Midlothian area. We've also got Mad Amy Homes or Mad Amy Homes. It's actually a uh, family owned builder out here in Anna, Texas. And these guys are putting a really good product out. I would say it's comparable to, uh, you know, Beezer Homes, but they add a little bit more flair with some of their trim options and finish outs. So it's a, it's a nice little touch that they do. Uh, another cool builder that we have out here that you'll probably recognize the name of is First Texas Homes. We see these guys all over the place, especially in Benbrook and South Fort Worth. And you know, they always put out a really good product. So if these are the kind of builders you're looking for, we got some options for you here. Costume change. Hey. <laughs> What's up? Uh, we actually had terrible audio, so. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, this is a different day. But uh, anyways, Hurricane Creek Estates, massive. I don't know if it's Estates. It's, well, no, it's a uh, village of okay. Hurricane Villages. Creek. Whatever. It's huge. On the ground at the moment, they have five phases. I would say each of those phases is probably about the size of two of some of the phases we've seen in other neighborhoods. Lots of houses. Yep, and just north of there, they have a golf course country club. So if you uh, you know want to live out in the rural area but still belong to a country club, boom, nailed it with that one. Yeah, and on top of that, we weren't able to show you guys, but they are putting in two different amenity centers, each one with a pool and uh, a lot of cool, crazy things that they're gonna throw into those. Unfortunately, they were still very much under construction when we went out there, so. And yeah. uh, we did learn as we were driving through Anna that uh, certain times of the day, certain directions, <laughs> traffic is horrible. Awful. I mean, it's like one lane just backed up as far as you can see. Yeah, so the issue is Anna is growing way too fast at the moment. So they're working day and night to get their infrastructure on point with the number of people that are moving there, but it's just, it, it, it can't keep up. Yeah, and Anna was like, the feel of it was super rural. Like, yeah, there's a lot of new stuff there, but like, as far as commercial stuff goes, there's like a little bit around the exit kind of getting into Anna, but then everything else is kind of dated, whereas Melissa, like you had these new shopping centers, uh, they had all the sports facilities, all that kind of stuff. It was like, yeah, there's been a ton of growth, but like the commercials kept up and it just, yeah. yeah. I think Melissa definitely had the upper hand because they are right next door to McKinney. So a lot of that was already kind of spilling over, whereas Anna, they just kind of got hit raw. They were not ready. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but at the end of the day, like if you want to get like a little bit away from the hustle and bustle of the city, but still be kind of close, I mean, either one of these could be really good options for you. And there is a, there are a lot more new home communities than what we showed in the video today. 
Uh, unfortunately, the rain really put a damper on that. But uh, if, if you are interested in the area, please do give us a call. We can help you figure out which community might be right for you, all that kind of stuff. That's, that's what we're here for. So, and we'll make sure you get an even better deal than you would get normally. So that we can guarantee. Um, but apart from that, anything else? No. All right, as always, if you're looking to buy or sell, remember to keep calling. Call Tom. Thank you.